Hey everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you an ECG rhythm and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time closely mimics the average amount of time you'll want to be spending on each card during an actual National Registry exam. When the time is up, I'll be giving you an answer as well as a treatment. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. Now, although this isn't a rest scenario, we have to identify the rhythm correctly per static cardiology rules in order to score those points. So let's go ahead and take a look at this rhythm and see if we can't find out what it is. Now, the first thing I like to do with any static cardiology strip is to actually find my rate. I'm counting eight R waves across this strip, so the heart rate will be 80 beats per minute. Next thing I like to do is actually take a look at the P waves. Now, this one is a little different. There's actually several different variations of P waves here present. That one is different than the one that follows it. There's a third, almost flat, non-existent P wave, and then you've actually even got some inverted ones. The R to R interval here is also nice and regular. Now, because I have at least three variations of P waves present, and the rate is under 100, this meets the criteria for wandering atrial pacemaker, otherwise known as WAP. Formerly called WAP, but Cardi B kind of ruined that acronym for EMS and for rhythm interpretation. Let's go ahead and now take a look at the actual scenario. So we're dispatched to a local bar for an assault. We arrive after law enforcement and we discover a patient who's approximately 25 years old laying on the floor. We find the patient is unresponsive, pulseless, and apneic. Physical examination reveals multiple contusions to the chest and abdomen and tracheal deviation to the left side. Law enforcement further reports that the patient was struck repeatedly with a baseball bat. Now remember, in static cardiology, the majority of your points are derived from correct treatment of a patient's rhythm and condition and not just rhythm interpretation. Based on my patient's signs and symptoms and zero vital signs, my final diagnosis for static cardiology is wandering atrial pacemaker, but my patient is in PEA, pulseless electrical activity. Now let's go ahead and move on to the treatment. Just like with all other static cardiology cards, I'll begin my treatment by regurgitating the mantra, scene safe, BSI, IVO2 monitor. Because this patient is pulseless, I'll then begin performing cycles of CPR at a ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths, making sure that I'm getting an end tidal capnography reading of at least 10 millimeters of mercury. I'll then be giving epinephrine, one milligram of one to 10,000 IV push every three to five minutes, and I'll consider my H's and T's. Because of the tracheal deviation and the chest trauma that was reported in the scenario, 
I'm going to perform a right-sided pleural decompression. I'm actually going to needle decompress the patient's right chest. I'll then consider an advanced airway and rapid transport. And that's it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more static cardiology. And remember, you can make your own custom playlist using my videos to help you study for your national registry exams. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.